Hello you guys, so today's video is going to be my graphic novel mashup review. Okay, so in the month of April, right April, yes, I read two graphic novels. Um, I thought there was going to be a third one, but when I actually like started reading it, it was more of a book than a graphic novel. So I put it to the side because I like I have like a book book that I'm actually reading. I thought it was going to be like a graphic novel, but it's way more of a book than a graphic novel. So um, the two graphic novels that I read in the month of April was Namona and Lumber Jane's. The first, just the first graphic novel, not the volume, but just the first Lumber Jane's. And they're both by Noel Stevenson. And I didn't know that. Like I, I, I thought Lemon James was by somebody else. I did not know it was by her too until I like started reading. I was like, wait, who wrote this? So I could tell people who was the author. Okay, so first I read <clears throat> Nimona and y'all, I love this so much. Like I wanted to read this since it came out. And when it first came out, y'all know it was all over booktube like crazy. It was like, it was like, like, I don't know. <laughs> it was like, 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 like killer bees attacking like it was everywhere and i wanted to read it that long and i finally just said i'm gonna check it out from the library because um with this i was having my little issue with no i don't want to check it out from the library i want to buy it so i can have it and i think i'm still gonna buy it because this was really good i gave this a five out of five stars i love this so much i laughed through this book like it was nice and it was funny and i enjoyed myself while i was reading this like I had a lot of fun reading this. I had laughing and I had little emotional moments throughout the book. You know, like where it tugs on your heartstrings. Not enough to make you cry, but just like that feeling like when you read something saying like, oh, that's so sad, you know? Like almost like that feeling you get when you see like the commercial for the abused animals come on. It's like you get like tug at your heart. So y'all, I love this so freaking much. Okay, now first of all, going into this, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't know it was about like superheroes and super villains. Okay? Alright, so Nimona is a sidekick and it's about Nimona and Lord Blackheart, which is the super villain, and she's a sidekick for the super villain, super villain Lord Blackheart. Now I, I didn't know that she wanted, you know, to be a super villain. Going into this, I thought it was like, oh, she's one like like, you know, the superheroes, you know? I didn't think it would be so I like seeing it from that point of view, because you never hardly ever read a book that's in like a super villain point of view it's all about all oh, the superheroes are good 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 you never really read books that are from the super villain's perspective so i enjoyed that so basically like superheroes and super villains are pretty much run by this institution of law enforcement they decide who's going to be super villains and who's going to be superheroes and the whole point of the book is laura blackheart and Nimona are supposed to be trying to prove that the institute is actually dirty. So it's almost like with police officers, it's like dirty cops, pretty much. That's what they're trying to prove because they found this out and they're trying to tell everybody that they're not as nice and, you know, helpful and saving as everyone really thinks they are. They're actually doing some like underhanded, you know, dirty stuff. I really enjoyed this show. Like, I had the biggest laugh ever at the beginning because I was like, wait, 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 wait. So you had like a job agency supplying sidekicks and stuff. Like, it was just, it was killing me because I was like, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Oh, the agency sent you? So, like, you just, they just send you sidekicks here. You take a sidekick, you take a sidekick, you take a sidekick. You get a car! You get a car! It's like ridiculous, y'all. Pneumonia's enthusiasm was killing me. She's the one who really had me laughing the most because she was just so giddy, like, come on, let's do this, let's do that. Like, taking over when she's supposed to be the sidekick and he had to keep telling her, look, you the sidekick, you're not the villain, you're just here to help. You know, you 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 are the Robin to my Batman, so I'm gonna need you to calm down, take it down two notches or whatever. She had me dying the whole story, y'all. Like, she was making me laugh so hard because it was just like, She's just so excited. She's like a child in a candy store. It was just amazing. It was just, the graphics was really cute. The dialogues was really funny. And I just really, really, really love the sarcasm and the realness of the conversations. It's like the conversation they was having was something that you could see real people really talking about and not just, oh, nobody in real life would ever have conversations like this. It was just so real. And the sarcasm had me rolling, y'all. 
I actually found myself being very emotionally invested in the characters and I didn't really pay attention to this until the end and y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all read it. I found myself being emotionally, like really emotionally invested in characters and that is a good thing when you're reading a book. You want to feel close to the characters. You want to feel involved and she did a good job of making her readers feel involved in my in my book you know i felt really involved with the characters with the story with everything and i felt like let's do this shit like i was in it like let's go the ending really shocked me but it satisfied me you know like i was happy with the ending because it left you with like someone like oh my god that's great it's almost kind of like how the ending of the hulk like the incredible hulk is when it's like he's out there somewhere but no one has ever seen him but he's there you know, it's like, it's like I was satisfied. I was satisfied, but I was shocked. But I was like, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like that. You just wish that. Oh, I wish it would have ended. Oh, I wish it would have ended like a happily ever after, like nice or no. You know, like everybody was together and everything was cool again. That's kind of like what I wish was happening. But I, I liked the end and I was satisfied with it. So I'm not gonna complain. I just, I guess you could say, I just, I loved everything about this, you know, and I recommend this to everyone. No one is too young or too old to enjoy this. Like, this will definitely enjoy you, like, have you feeling enjoyment and feeling happy and satisfied for reading this. Like, I think this is something really good to read and read something too. It's really going to jumpstart you like, yeah, that was really good. Let's, let's, what's next? Let me read what's next, you know? So, I definitely, 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 definitely recommend this to every freaking one. Get yeah, this a 5 out of 5 stars. So, go and check this out. I'm going to link my review on the Goodreads that I did. I'm going to link it in the description box as well as, you know, the link to the actual book that's on Goodreads as well. Okay, so the second graphic novel that I read this month was Lumberjanes, the first book. And, you know, that's by Noelle Stevens as well. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't really like it, and I don't know if I want to continue with it. I might just get, like, the second book just to, you know, see if it's getting better. Um, I just, I didn't really like this. And a lot of people was, like, going crazy for it. Like, oh, my God, I love this. This was great. It's like, it was all right, but I don't know. It just felt like something was missing. I don't know. Maybe it needed, like, a little more humor, you know, more of a, like, actual description of the characters for me because I don't like I I couldn't even tell you which character was which and on top of that it was really really short like it was 24 pages like that is really short and I don't know if I want to pay my money for something that short so I thought I would at least get like 50 pages or something it was just 24 pages um I don't really know the characters we don't really get any like character introductions to know who is who it just kind of starts throwing out names like oh this is this person that's that person but I don't really know the characters so I'm not emotionally invested with the characters I don't know them at all it's like it could have been a little more funny it's more like the humor in this is more like I, I, I can't even think of the word but you know where it's like corny they're like it's like corny jokes and corny humors like you can see that they're trying to be funny but it's not really funny it's like oh I can see I'm, I was supposed to laugh right there but it's like eh, it's not really funny it's like the funniest part in the book that I found out for me was the bathroom dilemma because it's like watching her it's like oh she had to go to the bathroom so freaking bad and every time she tried to go somebody was like no we need you over here you know come here so we can tell you this and we can tell you that let's go you can go later and you can see she like about to like explode and it's, so it was just so funny that was the funniest part of the book for me so it's like I could use more humor I could use more character um introductions more you know description for that it's just like at the end of the 24 pages the characters are still strangers i like to like feel connected with my characters at least know a little bit about them you know about their background but i don't really know any of them um i probably will pick up the second book just out of curiosity about you know what's going on because the plot the plot did kind of like you know leave me off like i want to know what's going on at this damn camp that they're at like what is the issue what's going on you know what's all the secrecy about i kind of do want to know about that so i might pick up the second one if i could find it in like the library or if i can find like the whole body of the library or something um this one was like uh one of the books i checked out ebook wise from the library and I'm, I'm gonna see if they have the second one. I don't think they do ebook wise, but physically wise they might. But I didn't really care for it. It was just, you know, like I said, I might pick up the second one just to see if it gets better. 
And if not, I'll know after that. Because if I pick up the second one and it starts to pick up for me, then I'm like, okay, I'll continue. And they have so many of these, y'all. Like, so many. So if I do buy them, it'll be like the, the actual volume bind-ups. Because I'm not spending that much for 24 pages. So, yeah, I didn't really like that one. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Um, it has potential. That's why I said I might pick up the second one to see where the story goes. But I think I just need a little more time with it. Like, 24 pages wasn't enough to get me wrapped up into it you know the graphics are cute you know the graphics are okay they're good but the actual just the plot wise didn't get me so um if you guys read it have read like more than just like the first one can you comment below and let me know like does it like pick up and like do you understand what i'm saying about like you know i just feel like it's off like i don't know any of the characters it was too short and i just wish i would know more and the plot it's like mysterious to me so that's what makes me want to read the second one so just let me know below if y'all read it and what y'all like if it get better from just from the first one like if it's just i need more pages like if i need to read a couple more of the actual the graphic novels just for me to you know actually get caught up into it because i don't think 24 pages is enough was enough to get me fully invested in it i want to feel what everyone else is feeling like when they're like oh this was amazing and awesome i loved it i want to feel that because this has the potential and that's what irritates me with stuff like this because it's like i see the potential in it but it's just not hitting home for me you know so hopefully after i read the second one i can come back with better saying okay it's picking up it's getting better and i'm going to continue and read it but we'll find out soon enough then i guess you know so yeah those are both of the graphic novels that i read um which wasn't, wasn't bad. So I, I'm glad I got to read some more graphic novels because it's been a while since I actually like read, since I actually included like a graphic novels in my like TBR. So I'm glad I got through them because I really, really, really love Numona. So I'm so happy I like picked that up finally because I love that one so much. Like they should do a second one for Numona. They should do a second one because it was awesome. So that's everything you guys so thank you guys for hanging in there don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys later bye